this video, I'm going to do one example of rewriting an equation into standard form. The given equation will be in slope-intercept form, and we want to write it in standard form using integers. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the original equation, which is y equals negative 3 fourths x plus 2. All right, now if it says with integers there, I need to get rid of the negative 3 fourths because that's a fraction, and I don't want to have a fraction in this. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator. I'm going to multiply through by the least common denominator, in other words. So I'm going to multiply this right-hand side by 4. I'm also going to multiply the left-hand side by 4. Because whatever you do to the right side, you also have to do to the left side to keep it equivalent. Now, that 4 on the right-hand side needs to be distributed to both terms on the inside. When I take negative 3 fourths times the 4, the 4s are going to cross out. That's going to leave me on the right-hand side with a negative 3x. Then I'm going to have the plus sign. I'll distribute the 4 to the 2. 4 times 2 is 8. On the left-hand side, 4 times y is going to give me the 4y. Now, standard form, if we recall what standard form is, that's ax plus by equals c. So if I'm rewriting in standard form, I have to have the ax term first and on the left, then the by term and with a constant c on the right-hand side. So I am going to take the negative 3y and add 3y to both sides of the equation. When I do that, negative 3x plus 3x crosses out on that right-hand side. On the left-hand side, these are not like terms. 4y and 3x are not like terms. So the only thing I can do is just write them next to each other. I'm going to choose to put the 3x first and then the plus 4y because that's what standard form is. The x term first, then the y term, and then equals 8. Okay, so... Standard form there, 3x plus 4y equals 8. A little bit of algebraically, algebra manipulation there. Multiplying through to get rid of the fractions and then rewriting so that you have the x term plus the y term is equal to a constant. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.